So summer is in the air, which to me means dining al fresco and serving up some simple, easy to prep, slow cooker pulled pork tacos. I'm gonna serve these with a nice cilantro, spicy rice, a little guacamole, and a Mexican street corn recipe, courtesy of Martin Lesh, who's a wonderful piano player living in Hilton Head. I'd also like to give a shout out to James Berry and all the jazz campers and my friends over at the Jazz Corner, Kelly, Lois, and the wonderful staff there. So let's get cooking. So here we have just over two pounds of boneless country style pork ribs. It seems like a lot, but we do love the leftovers for a pulled pork sandwich the next day. And we're going to make a rub. We have a tablespoon of Trader Joe's taco seasoning, or you can use any steak seasoning or a combination of cumin, paprika and cayenne pepper works. You want a good dash of salt, good dash of pepper, three large garlic cloves cut up, and about a teaspoon of chili powder. And we're gonna mix them all in a bowl here and then rub it all over our ribs. Now we're just gonna give our ribs a nice coating both sides of the dry rub. Mix it all in. So now we have our dry rub on the ribs. We're just gonna pop them into the slow cooker, leave it off for now and prepare our sauce. So now to make our sauce, we're gonna need a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. This one's from Trader Joe's, Kansas City style. We'll need a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, quarter of a cup of soy sauce, regular or low sodium, doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll need a quarter of a cup of agave syrup. You can also use honey or molasses, also tastes really good. And a quarter cup of orange juice. A dash of sriracha. And last but not least, a full cup of ancho reos chili liqueur from Mexico. You don't have to add this last ingredient, but uh, why wouldn't you? Now a little more. That's about right. So now we just pour all of our sauce ingredients on top of the ribs and add our finishing touch. So plug your slow cooker in, turn it to low, and that's gonna cook for about seven to eight hours, which is about the same time it takes to fly to France to play a song with my good friend, guitarist David Blenkhorn, who, like me, is originally from Australia. So let's put the lid on and go jam. I first fell in love with this song when I heard Nat King Cole sing it as a ballad. And then I heard a great swing and version with Frank Sinatra on an album called Ring a Ding Ding with Johnny Mandel arrangements. So I'd like to do the swinging version for you now. I have a feeling, it's a feeling I'm concealing, don't know why. It's just a mental, incidental, sentimental alibi. But I adore you. So strong for you Why keep on stalling? I am falling Love is calling Why be shy? Let's fall in love Why shouldn't we fall in love? Our hearts are made of it Let's take a chance Why be afraid of it? Let's close our eyes Make our own paradise Little we know of it Still we can try To make a go of it We might have been meant for each other To be or not to be Let our hearts discover Let's 
fall in love why shouldn't we fall in love now is the time for it while we are young let's fall in love Dave. So while our pork is simmering away quite nicely there, smells good, I'm going to make a spicy guacamole. I don't know anyone that doesn't love guacamole and we like it spicy. So you're going to need a handful of cilantro, about half a red onion, you can use the other half for the rice later. We have juice of one lime, two pretty ripe avocados, a nice ripe vine tomato, salt, and not one jalapeno pepper, but two jalapeno peppers. Spicy, but good. So we're gonna start by chopping up our onion. So some guacamole purists might say, oh no, you don't put tomato in a guacamole. But uh, I had one lying here and it looked great, and uh, I think it gives a nice bright flavor to the guacamole, I like it. So here is our jalapenos, onions, avocado, and tomato, or tomato. So we're just going to mix it together, add lime juice and salt. And now for the taste test. Mmm. It's pretty spicy. I think it's nice to have something sweet on the top of our pulled pork tacos to complement the saltiness of the pork. So I'm gonna cut up some pineapple here, put it in a pan with a little butter, and it's gonna go really nicely. Whew. All right, so I need all hands on deck here in the kitchen, so I'm gonna ask Andrew to grill the corn for me. Hey Andrew, you out there? Thank you, can you be a solid? Appreciate it. Wow. That's amazing. Here we have it, grilled corn. So now we're going to assemble our grilled corn Mexican style dish. We've got a bowl here. It's got about half a cup of mayonnaise, cup and a half of sour cream, and about a quarter of a cup of cilantro. So we're just gonna grab our grilled corn, dip it in and roll it around a bit. And then we're gonna put that back on the plate. We're gonna grab a lime, half a lime here. And then put that over the corn. Okay. And then dip it in our cojita, which is like a Mexican Parmesan cheese. Just like this. Get a nice cheesy mixture on top. And Last but certainly not least, chili powder. Nice generous serving of chili powder. Mm. 
shake off a bit the excess. And here is our yummy and messy Mexican corn. Whew. Well, it's been about eight hours, more or less. So it's time to get our pork out and start cutting it up. Oh, it falls apart, it's beautiful. Mmm, just falls apart. So nice and tender. So we are ready for our tacos, our pulled pork tacos. So we have here some rice, basmati rice I made with the other half of the onion that we made our guacamole with and cilantro, a little bit of chili powder, a little salt. We have our pan fried pineapples, uh, a tomatillo salsa. Okay, I didn't make from scratch, but it's a Trader Joe's one. It's very nice. We have our Mexican street corn, a couple of limes for serving, chips and guacamole and the pulled pork. So I think we can get this started. And that's a pretty good bite, I think. Well, this looks like summer on a plate to me. We have our Mexican street corn here, a little sprinkle of lime on the top of that. We have our tortillas, and I put a little bit of rice with cilantro and red onion on the bottom of that. Some pulled pork, then the sauce from the pulled pork, some pineapple, and a little bit of salsa on top of that. Any salsa will do. I like tomatillo salsa. And then we have our guacamole. So I think this was definitely worth the eight hour wait. Yeah, for sure. I hope that you enjoy making your tacos as much as I've enjoyed making these for you today. I wanna to thank David Blenkhorn for sitting in with us. With any luck, we'll be back on the road in no time playing for all of our friends all over the world. If you have any comments, please go to shanikijams.com. Thank you for tuning in. Take care of each other. Cheers, and see you next Monday. The water is white. I can cross over. And need me a boat that can carry two and both shall She sails the sea. She's loaded deep as deep. Sing or swing